here with Dibble State University head baseball coach Seth Thibodeau. And coach, you just released a 2013 schedule. Tell us a little bit about the teams on it and what were your thoughts going into uh, making the schedule the way you did. Well, we wanted to make sure we, we, we when we did our schedule this year, we wanted to make it and uh, put us in a situation to get better as the season goes. And with the level of competition we have pre-conference, I'm pretty excited about where we can be heading into conference. And uh, it's going to be a challenge, but it's a challenge we're certainly ready for. And it enhances our goals, and, and it's something that, that you know our guys have looked forward to during our workouts in the fall, uh, seeing the schedule that we do have and, and how motivating it is to, to work to be the best we can for the schedule. Coach, uh, along with some of the – you know, the conference slate, you're going to play ULL, Tulane, UNO, Southern, uh, a lot of those in-state schools, but a lot of the schools in the state have a lot of pedigree and history. Just talk a little bit about playing those teams uh, this year and having most of them really on the docket playing either a home-and-home -home series or at least playing some of those teams twice. One of our uh, big goals here at Nichols is to be one of the better, better programs in the state, a baseball program, and we've certainly met that the last few years. Uh, but you're right, to, to have Southern and Tulane and ULF yet and LSU and, and the list goes on and on, the UNOs, uh, and then we have our in-state in rivals in conference with, with McNeese and Northwestern and Southeastern. So to have those types of teams on your schedule, that's only going to make you better. But it adds for a lot of excitement. And, and like you said, it's, it's a challenge because of where we're located. We're located in an area with where some of the top teams in the country are, are, are located as well. So... Uh, we're in that belt, and, and, and certainly it's something that, that is exciting because every Tuesday and Wednesday night presents uh, for some, a challenge and, and something we're definitely ready for. Let's talk about some of the newer opponents, maybe some teams that people aren't familiar with, like uh, Sacred Heart University. You have a home series with Towson as well. Um, you're going to play San Jose State out in California. Talk a little bit about getting those teams, what, you know, uh, you thought about getting those teams, obviously, from colder climates to come in and play and actually play some good teams in some uh, other kind of smaller conferences just like the Southland. Well, if you remember last year, we had a team that no one down here really heard about in Stony Brook, and all of a sudden they had a pretty good season. And there is some good baseball played up in the Northeast, and, and Towson coming in from Maryland is, is no slouch at all. They're very competitive in their conference and, and compete for the, their league uh, title year in and year out. And we're excited about that challenge. We're also excited, too, for the challenge of, of playing Brown University from the Ivy League at, at around Robin at LSU. It presents a nice challenge for us, but uh, also to have Sacred Heart, who is a perennial, perennial power, who is in regionals each and every year. They're going to be a really big challenge for our team, and I'm excited about it because they're, they would be you know comparable to a top-end Southern Conference team, and, and it's going to be a huge challenge for us. And then we go on the road to San Jose State. If we're going to ever compete to go to regionals here, which is a huge goal of ours, we're going to end up in places like that. I want our guys exposed to that type of baseball, and 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 uh, we're we're excited about that challenge, you know. And our guys have worked, and they want to represent Nickel State University against the challenges of this schedule, and and we're excited about that. We've got the right mindset and the right attitude about this, but but like to you know to like you said, the teams from from up north coming in, it, it presents a challenge for us, uh, but it's certainly one we're ready for. And coach, lastly, talk a little bit about the Southland Conference. Southland was one of the best teams last year in terms of RPI, strength schedule, things like that. And it looks to be another strong year this year with Southeastern, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, mm -hmm. Sam Houston State again. Tell us a little bit about you know the teams you're going to be playing at home, uh, like Northwestern State, like Stephen F. Austin, mm -hmm. having a couple of those games at home. But just your overall thoughts on how you think the league might play out this year and just what the schedule presents itself in terms of what you're going to need to do to know to get into the conference tournament at the end of the year. I, I, you know, we, obviously we want to try to win the league, and we don't want to just make the tournament, but it's certainly something that's in there. Um, but, but right off the bat, when we play Stephen F. Austin, Every year, it's a battle, and and when we go, we have Southeastern the very next weekend. Of course, we all know that's a huge challenge for us. Every year, we have Corpus Christi coming into town, uh, Central Arkansas, McNeese. Then we had Oral Roberts, uh, who's a, a national power. Every year, they've they've hosted regionals. They're in a regional every year, so that that presents a huge challenge to our league. Uh, and then, you know, we have Sam Houston, who's just as good as, as anyone that will play on our schedule. And Northwestern State and Lamar, you know, what else can you say? One through one through nine, one through ten, we're, we're pretty – it's a pretty polished league right there. And, and to add a, a power of Oral Roberts, and, and it just adds even more uh, to the, the strength of the schedule. But I just feel like on any given weekend, anyone can beat anyone. And that's what makes our league, you know, exciting. 
Uh, but you have to play every single game in this league. You have to bring it each and every day, and it's something that we've been working at this entire fall is being the best we can be each and every day during the weekend uh, because, you, you know, you may not play real good on Friday, but you have Saturday to worry about the next day and Sunday to worry about and so forth. So uh, it's going to be a tough year in this league. It's going to be a battle, and, and the strongest man at the end is going to be the one that's standing.